Welcome back lighting friends, Rob with Pathway Connectivity Solutions talking about the Cognito Lighting Control Console. In the last video we talked about playlist automation with cue actions and it was the first time we really got into looking at what happens when you press go on the left and then go on the right. Uh, we were running a chase on the right hand list. Uh, today we're going to look at a little closer what it means to the stage when one guy on the left is trying to talk to the lights and potentially the guy on the right is also trying to talk about it. So let's do a couple examples in our little theater here that we have with our lead singer and bass player and piano player and the drummer in the background and mostly today we're going to look at the colors on the back wall, the cyclorama. So we're sitting uh, on the left playback, we're sitting in the queue called She Sings and if I press go, just to familiarize ourselves, uh, I can go into the next cue, which would be the bass player. So the lead singer goes down, the bass player's light comes up, and the psych goes red. And we also have the cue where the psych goes pink, and we go to the um, piano player. And then again, we go back to the verse. So we're going to just sit up in our main queue called She Sings. So I triple click and we go to that. And I spoke in the last video very briefly about releasing a playlist. Now what that means is we just want it to stop talking to the stage. Just go away, pretend you're not there, release the playlist. So as I said before, you could press this button here, which will just release it. And then the shortcut, you got to start learning these is to hold down the shift key and hit the pause back button above the playlist and that will release the playlist so it's no longer talking. So now let's go look at the right playlist. So in the play task I will select the right playback and we will notice that the selected playlist is the psych colors and if we look we have three different cues here and they are uh, pink and blue, amber cyan, amber green, you press go again, you'll notice that the next cue pointer, it is linked up to the top. That is a property we set in the last video, so now I can just go and go and go, and we just loop around on these things. And now the shortcut to release this again, shift, pause, release, so that goes away. So let's look at them in combination now. Looking at the left playback, we will go into the queue called She Sings. That gives us a front light, our back light, so look on the cyclorama. And now I can just press go on the right playlist and I add a little bit of color to the scene. Now I can release that by doing the shift pause trick or, this is new, we can assert the She Sings queue. Now to do that, you could triple click on she sings again but much quicker than that what you do is you press shift and go now we said shift and go if you press go of course you're going to go where this little green arrow is pointing and that would take us into the base red look but if I do a shift go it asserts the current cue which means take control again so we do that and it will fade into the blue look now I can go and add a different color here, and then assert the main cue again. So, if we advance into this cue, we have a nice red look on the psych. Then I bring in this cue, and I can grab a different version of it, a different color, grab a different color, and then assert the bass player again with his red look, just by doing a shift go there. The same is true if you use a memory. Now here's a memory called blue, it's number 17, and it takes the psych to blue. Now I could pull that out and it'll take the psych back to red, which is the bass player. Push it in, it will go to blue. Now if I don't know where this blue is coming from, but I'm looking at my bass cue and I'm thinking, that's not red. What I can do is I can just assert that cue by shift going on it and it will grab control back from whoever had it. In this case, it was memory number 17. So that's a little bit on control and different things like different cues in different playlists and different memories all vying for control of the same lights. 
and how you can assert control back once somebody has stolen it away from you. So when you're looking inside of a queue list and things keep moving forward, it makes a lot of sense. But sometimes you don't want things to be pulling control uh, as you move forward in the playlist. And that's a much more complicated discussion about what is recorded where and how do you get rid of it. And that's a function called knockout we'll discuss in the next video. Hope you join me.